The two-day summit expected to take place from 25 to 26 October will see the three leading universities in the country tackling research and finding solutions to pandemics and epidemics that affect communities. The aim is at the end of this year that this research should be published in blind peer-reviewed journals that the world take notice what's going on here. We hope to come up with mitigations, that means to reduce the impact of these pandemics and epidemics. Hopefully, we can come up with solutions to better our continent and everyone in this country. While motivating the students, IUM's Vice Chancellor, Professor Orowolo Oladele, says there are not enough programs and policies designed to cater for pandemics, therefore, a need for a summit as such. I believe we could learn from the two epidemics is to get is the need for aggressive implementation of all relevant policies and programs. As future leaders tomorrow, it is necessary when you are confronted with a problem to design policies and programs. But it is not sufficient. It will be sufficient if the policies and programs designed are implemented. Deputy Minister of Health and Social Services, Dr. Ushiwa Mwinyangwe, in her keynote address, believes the summit and its outcome will support ongoing efforts at the national, regional and continental levels to better understanding of epidemics, pandemics and their impact on societies. We can only be optimistic that through interventions such as this one, challenges occasioned by pandemics and epidemics on the African continent and elsewhere will be turned into opportunities for collaboration and innovation to save humanity from the negative impacts of diseases. The launch awarded Paul Stephanes with a certificate and a $1,000 for designing the best logo for the summit. The summit will be held under the theme Lessons Learned from Pandemics and Epidemics.